not giving up without a fight. Okay, Bethy? Yeah, feeling yeah. good. My crust is a little buttery than I wanted. Yeah, the pastry looked raw. Was it raw? Um, it was cooked, but maybe I should have cooked it a little bit longer. But that feels wet there, so be very, very careful, then. Eh? Okay. Very careful. Let's go, guys. But this time, your pie should be in the oven and that meringue baking. Joy, go in the oven. Now, though. Perfect timing. James, you have to be very careful here. He's leaving all of his to the last minute. James, you're not leaving yourself any time to bake the meringue in the oven. I'm really cutting myself pretty short. Last two minutes, guys. 60 seconds to go. What is James doing? What is he waiting for? 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm running out of time, but I don't have any options. I'm trying to fix it, so I'm torching, but my pie looks like Six, five, four. Three, two, yeah. one, and stop. Chrissy, from up there in the gallery, what do you think? Exactly what I wanted to happen happened. That was a very tough pressure test. Three very difficult, demanding stages that you need to nail every step of the way, 100%. All four of you, please bring them down to the front. Yeah. On top, the pie looks OK, but I know on the inside that dough is not cooked, the egg whites are not perfect, and there's definitely not enough curd in there. I might be going home today. So what's the flavor? Uh, blood orange and lime. Why those two? Well, I wanted to kind of mix the flavors up between the two and find something that was sweet and tart, and I figured the blood orange and lime would be a good combo. So just take a look under there. See that damp patch? So that is a raw pie crust on the bottom. Way insufficient curd. The pastry doesn't taste too bad, but your saving grace there is the curd. That actually tastes quite nice. Egg white, not cooked all the way. Yeah. What happened there? Ran out of time. Just needed five more minutes. This is not impressive at all. Very disappointing. Hi, Betty. Hey. What's going through your mind right now? I'm disappointed in my outcome. I hope I don't leave from it. Yeah, but, I mean, visually beautiful. It should be making a nice crunch as it goes through. I've never successfully made anything like this before, so... I mean, obviously, you still haven't. I like the actual flavor of the curd with the tanginess, but now, if this is your foundation, it falls like a deck of cards, or in this case, a lime meringue pie. All right. Badly thought out. The pastry's raw there. I knew you were <laughs> the minute you put that curd on top of a raw pastry. What a mess. That is the grossest pie I've ever seen in my life. I'm probably going home tonight. All right, Jordan, what is it? Uh, I did the regular lime and some key limes to balance out the acidity of the regular lime. Looks the prettiest. The crust a little thin and raw, but it's still kind of held together pretty good. I like your curd a lot. It's got the right texture, good lime flavor. It's definitely the best cake I've tasted so far. I was giddy like a little schoolgirl when I saw you pulling this out of the oven. 
Because, I mean, look at the curve. That's nice and even. It's like the height that it's supposed to be. The curd's got a great texture. A little sweet. But good job. OK, be me. I'm completely fearing elimination right now. Bottom line, it comes down to whether Beamy royally screwed up or not. Oh, Beamy. Wow. OK, Beamy. Yes, Chef. Oh, Beamy. Wow. What's the flavoring? The flavoring is, um, is lime. Lime? Yeah. Oh, dear. I mean, what have you done here? Huh? Well, I mean, car didn't set, didn't. You've been to a cocktail bar, right? Cheers. Good health. <laughs> me. <laughs> what is that in there? What's the grainy bits? Cream of tartar. <laughs> yeah, I messed up. I grabbed the wrong thing, and I just started throwing it in there. What are you trying to do, kill us? In the recipe, it's like a teaspoon. How many tablespoons? Like. Almost like 10. I was, 10. Because I'm like, time is running out then. Time's running out? Yeah. Something's running through my mouth. I messed up, man. It was a mistake. It was something stupid I did. Embarrassing, man. It's hard to watch. No, it's not. <laughs> All four of you, just give us a moment, please. Thank you. I can say sorry, man. I feel your pain. Jordan's the best. Clearly. Mm -hmm. the best. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, I don't know about Bethy's. Her pastry was real. Weepy I mean, and just, yeah, the curd was kind of busted. But the curd didn't taste anything. It had no identity. No flavor. You wouldn't yeah. have known what it was. If you close your eyes and said, what does that taste of? Like? You wouldn't like have done Sweet, it. sweet pudding. At least James went out of the box and did blood orange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You ready? Jordan, step forward, please. We saw you handle pressure in a way that outshone your fellow competitors. Make your way upstairs, please. Thank you. Take your apron off. James, step forward, please. That's one of the worst dishes cooked in this competition so far. Your saving grace tonight, young man, is that there were two worse pies than yours. Upstairs. That was horrifying, but I lived to fight another day. Bethy, be me. This is really difficult. You both are talented home cooks, without a doubt, let me tell you. Be me. Yeah. It's time, young man, to take that apron off and leave the MasterChef competition. You good, girl. Keep being yourself. Be me. Listen carefully. You walked into this competition and blew us away. The growth and the level of excitement that you gave us has been extraordinary. You shouldn't be leaving this competition tonight. You know that. So you walk out this kitchen, you keep your head up high, and you follow your dream. Got it? Yes, Chef. Good man. Come here, you. Thank you, everyone. That was a pleasure, man. I'm very happy with the results. Mission accomplished. For me to make this dumb mistake, it's cost me this competition, and it's like, I let the judges down, you know? That's the worst part. But um, the dream definitely doesn't die here. I'm leaving with the belief and the tools to become something special 
I think that my daughters are gonna be proud of their daddy.